With the overwhelming response on my last Tesla display mount video that had an OEM look to it, many of you said it wished it had CarPlay or were wanting a screen for both the left or right handed Tesla cars out there. I just got done installing this 9 inch touchscreen display mount that works for both the Tesla Model 3 or Model Y and yes it has the ability to work with both the left or right handed drivers. My name is Evan and if you're new here welcome. I showcase the many Tesla accessories out there that may be helpful to you. Consider subscribing to the channel to see future content like this. If you saw my last center dash screen install video, you'll see that it has a very similar install process. I'll still take you step by step on my way of installing this new device and also briefly touch on the settings and capabilities. Let's get right into the install. When you first open up this new screen display mount, you'll see that it comes with all the appropriate instruction manuals and setting choices. The color on the back of the screen appears to match the rest of the Tesla interior with a built-in speaker on the left side for navigation and various other apps. But please note that the sound can be changed to use your Tesla audio instead. At the bottom there are two built-in cords that will go down into your air vent and finally on the right side we have a USB port for future software updates. The screen is quite reflective and in the future I think I'm going to add a matte screen protector to help diminish some of the glare. The rest of the kit comes with a small pry tool, a bracket to hold the screen over the center dash, and the cable needed to connect directly into your Tesla. First we have to work on removing the current dash in your Tesla. To start we are going to remove the side panel with the pry tool and also the side trim piece if you have a generation 1 dashboard like I do here. Once you have both of these pieces removed, repeat the process on the passenger side too. After the removal of these pieces, set them to the side and now we are going to gently tug the dash panel upward towards the windshield. You should hear some clips releasing on both ends of the dashboard. After the dash is loosened and you are able to move it, slowly bring the Tesla dashboard out of the car. Taking the Tesla dashboard, we have to count to 37 air vent squares to align the screen perfectly with the driver steering wheel column. I use some painters tape to mark the correct position for the screen. Taking one cord at a time, push it through the air hole and feed it through the dashboard. Count two more air vent holes up and insert the final cord through the dash. You can see how the screen will attach into place like a puzzle piece. It fits the air vent holes perfectly to now screw into place with the bracket. Put some gentle pressure on the mount until it is flush with the silver part of the dashboard. The screen will tilt upward when pushing it down into place. Next, flip over the dashboard to slide on this metal bracket. The larger holes are for the two wires we just fed through the top of the dash. Install 5 included screws on the holes ensuring not to over tighten them. The screen should now be snug onto the dashboard without any movement. We now have to remove the upper panel on the passenger side just below the glove box. Taking your pry tool, remove the four plastic pins and depending on your model year there may be a torque screw to remove also. Pull down the tray and unclip the light and speaker wires and set this to the side. If you are finding this video helpful this far, consider clicking that like button for me below so current and future Tesla owners can find this. I would greatly appreciate it. Now one of the hardest parts of the install is unplugging the wire clip as seen right here. I have a 2018 Tesla Model 3 and your color wire clip may be different than my light gray color. Just note that it's the middle connector that needs to be detached which has this thicker red, black and green wires. Unclip the wire connector from the car and once disconnected your screen will turn off. Do not be alarmed, this is completely normal. Now take the included cord from the kit and find the end with the two plugs on it. Going back under the glove box area, take the plug from the Tesla and attach it into the female end and then attach the remaining connector into the Tesla. This is the hardest part of the install, I had a really hard time clipping in this adapter. Hopefully it won't be as challenging for you. It took my car about 3 minutes for the main display to turn back on. If it does not, please ensure all your connectors are properly attached. After these are installed, we now have to hide the cord from under the glove box by using a pry tool or your fingers. Tuck the cord right above the trim like so. Remove this side panel and place the cord upward as you see here. We can now take our dashboard with the display and place it over the car dash upside down like so. Take the cords from the screen and the cords from our Tesla and plug them in. Red with red and blue with blue. I found it best here to use felt tape to attach the cords on the bottom of the dashboard. I'll have a link below this video should you need some. Take your time ensuring the cord is routed and secured properly.
Now flip over the dash and gently slide it into place, aligning the clips with the base of the dash of your Tesla. Use slight pressure on the top to push downward until you hear it clip into place. When you reach the end, you may have excess cord and I just pushed the extra down to the bottom of this compartment. Now reattach your side panels and dashboard clips on both the driver and passenger side. They should just snap back into place. Then finally reinstall your bottom speaker and light panel by reattaching the plugs and plastic clips. And that's it, we finally reached the end of the install and we can see the screen mirrors what the main Tesla screen displays. Should your display show Celsius instead of Fahrenheit or the time is in the wrong time zone, there is a way to change these settings in the main menu display. On the right hand of the screen, just swipe your finger to the left and this will bring up a menu to then select a gear wrench icon. When open, you can choose your preferred setting from the color of your car to the temperature unit along with many other settings. Just tap on any other selection to make a change. To enable CarPlay for iPhone or Android Auto for Android phones, just go into your Bluetooth settings menu in your phone and select BT Link Device. You should see an icon that says Pair and then further allow you to sync your contacts and then finally select the option to use CarPlay. After this connection with your phone, go back to the display and the CarPlay should now work by choosing the GPS arrow icon back in the menu option. The CarPlay menu however is not very fast when scrolling through the apps you have on your phone. I've noticed at times there can be a 1 or 2 second delay. I have not yet explored all the compatible apps with CarPlay yet, but I may post another video here in the future showing more functionality with CarPlay. I really like that you can now use Audible with CarPlay since Tesla does not have this app yet built into the car. You can have CarPlay completely take up the screen or have it like you see here with the speedometer and various other instruments still showing. This change can be found under the main menu again by swiping your finger to the left on the right hand side of the screen. When driving around with it you'll notice everything will be mirrored from your main Tesla display. The screen will auto adjust the brightness should your main Tesla display change as it gets brighter or darker outside. Everything from time, turn signals, state of charge, temperature, your speed, and even regenerative braking will show up on this mini display. So if you are someone who really misses that instrument cluster directly in front of you, this may be the product for you. I did not see any glitches or errors when using this display. Everything transitioned and appeared correctly including the hazard lights and the headlight icons. You can even swipe up or down in the middle of the screen to see your car's distance setting and it will adjust when you move your scroll wheel left or right. Swiping up again will display your tire pressure and swiping up one more time will show the Tesla with the doors open, including both the frunk and trunk as you can see here in red. At night the screen will auto switch to dark mode and also again auto adjust the brightness based on what the main Tesla screen shows. You can see here as I slide the brightness bar back and forth how the small screen will mimic the main screen. With my yoke steering wheel I really like the way this looks. The screen is a pretty good size, it's not too overwhelming and it may be a good fit for you should you want an instrument cluster directly behind your steering wheel along with the ability to add CarPlay or Android auto. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below so I can get back to you. Depending on your feedback, I may do a follow-up video on this since there are so many settings in CarPlay to adjust and show. Again, my name is Evan. Until the next one, see you guys. Bye.